Howdy. What up y'all? Today we're gonna try something a little bit different. I'm running the new orange silverware IBK. <clears throat> I've said it before and just to be gin clear, I have zero sponsors. None. Nobody pays me to do anything. I love this knife. I was gifted this knife from Jeff um, and I love it man. I said hey could I have one that matches my table? So he gave it to me. It's not exactly how it worked out but anyway. I love this knife. If you guys are interested, this has been the uh, replacement blade fix for all my frustrations with the ones I was using forever. I still run that 70 XT blade. All good. Okay. <clears throat> Today, we're going to whittle on a couple of squirrels. Now, I want to try something. I'm, I'm actually working on one right now, but I'm going to take, remove the skulls from these squirrels, and then we're going to put them in a bag with a little dish soap, vac seal it, stick them in the sous vide overnight to see if that breaks down all the tissues so take a look thanks for joining here we go welcome back y'all all right step number one we're going to remove the hide from the face of this squirrel and then we're going to detach the head from the body i have three of these a raccoon and one ground squirrel so i'm going to speed this up and get them skinned and then I'm gonna build a vac seal bag, just a roll of bags. I seal one side, I'm gonna slide all those heads in there, and then I'm gonna fill it up with water just to cover them up. I'm gonna give it a little squirt of dish soap, and then I'm gonna vacuum seal the air out of it. From here, I'm gonna drop it into the sous vide cooker. Essentially, a sous vide is an immersion wand that will heat the water for a prolonged period of time. You set the temp, you set the time, off you go. It's a great way to cook. I'm doing this like a cooking show, so I've already got the ground squirrel going. Eight hours later at 198 degrees, let's get it clean. I learned a lot on my first one here. So I put it in there for eight hours so I could sleep through the night and just leave it alone. I was wondering if it would damage the bone or make it fall apart. It absolutely did not, probably because it was in water. Everything came off really easy. And for all of you that have asked about doing skull work with no pressure washer, this is the deal for you. So whatever brushes, picks, anything you got, give it a good scrub. Then I took a scoop of the White Bone Creations mix, which is peroxide and water mixed. I put it in the bag, I vac sealed it, and then I dropped it back in the sous vide for like an hour. Here's the weird part. So I took all the air out of it, but that peroxide at a super high temp obviously is oxygenating or off-gassing somehow, and it's puffing that bag up. I would say be very careful with this part. I'll show you another version. So I cut it out of the bag and I give it a real good rinse and just set it out to dry like always. Then I'll glue all the pieces back together. It is very common for small predators and rodents for the jaw to come apart. It is also common for the nose to come off. This one didn't. Anyway, put it all back together, let it dry, and it should be beautiful. Y'all are pretty passionate about your power washing, so I figured I'd be shortchanging you if I didn't try it with the power washer. So this is the bag that had all three squirrels and the coon in it. I cut it out and I got to washing. I've never had it come off so easy. This is eight hours at 198 degrees, and man, talk about making short work of it. Kind of a weird side note, but when I cut open that bag, it smelled absolutely delicious like laundry and steak very weird so using whatever power washer you got just spray into every hole and every orifice anywhere there's meat or tissue make it go away
With everything washed up clean, I'm gonna repeat the process. This time I'm gonna try a Ziploc. If that doesn't work, I'll just put the Ziploc down in a vacuum seal and vacuum seal it. Add a little White Bone Creations mix, 198 degrees, one hour, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't know if I would recommend the peroxide in the sous vide in a sealed bag. <clears throat> You probably know this already, but I'm no chemist, but whatever's going on in that peroxide, when we're hitting it at a certain temp, it's growing. Whether it's, I don't know if it's the right word or not, but oxygenating or filling that full of air. I don't know about doing that in the house either. I think the sous vide is fantastic for getting, for getting the, the flesh off, but... That's crazy. We give everything a good rinse. Let's we'll see how it goes. Check out these little micro molars. I don't know why, but I think those things are cool as heck. These three were the three I skinned. You saw them in the um, in the beginning with the sous vide. I don't know, I already said it, but that peroxide in the sous vide, I'm not so sure. Here's a look at the finished skull. Them super cool orange teeth. They turn out beautifully. It takes the meat off like awesome. Anyway, if you are on a budget, you don't have a power washer, you don't have anything, if you can boil water, you can do it. Just put your uh, skull down in a bag of water, take the air out of it, boil it in the pot. That way you get no smell in your house, you get nothing, and all you're doing is breaking down all that tissue around the skull, pull it out, and then just pick it clean with whatever you have, toothbrushes, picks, whatever, up underneath the kitchen sink, or whatever, and then, um, if you want, put your peroxide back in that bag and bring it to a boil. Just watch it so it doesn't swell up and pop on you. Um, other than that, that's it. Thank you, like always, for watching. Till next time.